You're uh, new, fairly new to the wood turning. So, how long have you been turning? Okay, that's fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll keep it up. Nice shape. Uh, here we have an oak piece. Looks like some texturing on the rim, which is really nice. Uh, nice curve, turn bottom. Um, nice cup on the inside. Bob. Bob Rose. This is Bob. Hey, Bob. That's a pretty piece. Bob does really beautiful work. We have a Don Layton's piece, a lot of beautiful figure, uh, an OG, has actually a really nice OG curve, comes in with a turn base, a little texturing, it's got a lot of time on the rim treatment, uh, I think that's an absolutely gorgeous piece, looks like maple, curly, curly maple, curly maple. Um, feels like a wax finish. Yeah, feels like a buffed wax finish. But a really pretty finish. Um, these are uh, this couple of cherries. I got some cherry burl. This is actually wood that Bob gave me. Bob Royce gave me this cherry burl. And I wanted to experiment to do kind of a hollow vessel with the natural edge and just make a bulby type of piece. So um, that's kind of what I came up with, just to experiment. But Again, just to take time with the bottom and have the curve come right above the tabletop so it looks like it floats on the table. Um, this, this was just an opportunity to use the natural edge and a uh, little thick on the bottom. Is for my, my, I don't know why I left it thick on the inside. I probably should have gone deeper in there. But uh, because I didn't go deep enough, I took more wood out of the base to lighten it up. But just to capture that natural edge appearance. Yes. Um, this is some more cherry burl from the same lot. And um, again, just trying to capture the natural edge. And it, it's kind of fun when you can have a planet, say, have a void on different sides, kind of a balance where you can look into the piece, it gives you a window into the actual turning, and again, the curve to just come right right above the tabletop. It's that? easier to measure your thickness, too. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. can see, actually see your chisel. And so it's a lot easier, especially in the bottom, where you can see yeah. how thick you are. Um, so anyway, just a fun, fun natural edge piece. It's really shaving, too. Yeah, there's always that, too. Yeah. <laughs> this is an older piece we had in the house for a while. I just wanted to get a photograph of it. Just We're sorting through some old pieces and trying to see what we might sell or try to get rid of to downsize a little bit. This is a real thin curly koa piece from Hawaii. I actually turned in Hawaii. And uh, back then, it was just the goal was to keep the bark on and go as thin as you could. And this wood came from on top of a mountain in Honolulu, a very high elevation. And it was a five foot diameter tree that had been whipping in the wind its whole life. So it really gave some beautiful figure. So uh, I just, it's really hard to get this curly koa anymore. Is that a crotch? It's, a, it's actually a crotch piece, yeah, it sure is. The tree would have been growing this way, uh, comes up and then branches out here to give you kind of a hard shape on the inside. Does it darken with age? It does, it does darken a little bit with age. Uh, this is a dark tree. Normally koa is a little lighter, but this turned out to be almost a black koa. Some branches were actually black. It was dramatic. It was really an interesting tree. So I like in a crotch piece where you have a branch coming this way and a branch coming this way. If you can capture your bottom or identify your bottom to be right in the center, it, it can be a nice effect. So and then you have the tensioning of the branches as they torque this way and torque the other way. You get that tension pattern in between the branches, which is kind of fun. It gives you a fiery little shot of, of tension through there. You did good, Chris. So, you did it justice. Beautiful. This is a really interesting kind of an ar architectural piece, Don Layden's. Does beautiful work. He actually demonstrated for us a while ago. Spalted pecan, really unique. Uh, nice cup, 
ball inside the square edging. Um, the base doesn't touch, it floats in the frame. And that is a really unique creative piece, I think. Beautiful wood, nice finish. This is a, a burl from Bob, and Bob does gorgeous work. This is a beautiful burl piece. Cherry burl. Nice edge treatment. It's nice when you take time and do a little rim treatment to can identify the rim. Even did some little texturing at the base here uh, with some rings to kind of uh, accentuate the uh, underside and inside. And a, a unique bottom treatment, which is kind of fun with a little burn, a burned edging. So that's a nice little piece. And another one from Bob. Nice finish, nice shape. Nice base. Bob takes a lot of time in this piece. This is Holly. That's a pretty little Holly piece. We have a an amazing kaleidoscope that was on the back cover of the AEW magazine. Um, absolutely stunning, gorgeous. If you haven't had a chance to look through it, take a look. It's just amazing. Um, this is uh, Jim Duxbury, and every part of this is so intricate. It works just like a fine Swiss watch. I mean, it's adjustable, it comes apart, it rotates. Um, absolutely stunning piece. So, I'd love, love to have one of these in my house. Take it with you. The right price, right? There's a 10,000 Is that right? 800 price, 10,008. Jim does amazing work. He's a phenomenal trainer. So, I think that does it for the NCAA. Oh, yeah, the books. Who did the books? I did those two. Oh, you did the books? Okay. Let's take a look at the books. Nursing books turn really good. These are nursing books that are turning into the whole uh, You want to describe this? My wife's a librarian at the college, and uh, they go through every now and then and weed the books out, and they throw all these things out. So I said, bring some of those home. Okay. And uh, usually, uh, I've seen it done before where you just turn a bowl, they just turn a bowl. Actually, you clamp a piece of uh, plywood in the back and, and sandwich it with another piece on the front bolts through it with a pole in the corner. And uh, usually they just turn a ball, but uh, I wanted to turn something with a different, uh, some center. I had one that was uh, turned tangent. These rings were tangent all down the top, but uh, the counterweight came off and went through the wall. <laughs> it didn't make it. Uh, blew up the pages? No, the pages are all, they're, they're just uh, the sandwich with fire. You can't read it with the good no, pages together. Yeah. Well, it's really, better, uh, it's a better read. I, I, I read the good part through the rest. You can put some of your turned vegetables in the bowl here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's done out of bandsaw. This is done, uh, just, uh, these are all segments cut out of here. And there again, that's that's actually the book. This <laughs> <laughs> this part of it. Short and course. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, the little one. Yeah, that was that's the Cliff's notes. Yeah, that sure. yeah. That's the Cliff's notes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, lots of fun. The kaleidoscope, if you sell it, you have to crate the thing. You know, somebody in Seattle buys this thing, you got to make a crate. And, and they won't take a crate in uh, UPS. It has to be covered with cardboard. So by the time you get done with that, you can make another kaleidoscope. So this is all made to come apart. Uh, that comes apart until you... The bottom actually comes off. This unscrews. This slides off. Uh, and then these slip apart. <laughs> Mm. So that you can create the whole thing in one small crate. You can't look directions. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has indexing marks. <laughs> anyway, 
Feel free to go look at it. I believe these would be This is the only one. Yeah. Yeah. This is, no, this is the first one. I and you're not going to do it again. I made this for 10,800. He might do it again. <laughs> More if you want to have a couple of people looked at it. I don't know. That's the first tag he's putting on. That's what I said. I don't think it's a joke. You want to put your screw in it before you do this? Yeah. Oh, when you put your, when you ship it, you, you put the screw in the bottom here. That's that. So how much is it if you don't have to create it? Yeah. I'll tell you, once you've done a couple of these things, you don't want to do another one. Shipping is really a pain. Uh, just feel free to look at it. Uh, it's a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Internal lights, there's batteries up the center, removable object box. You're looking at wash gears floating in oil. Um, there's three lights in here. And the batteries are down the center. So you take that screw out and the batteries are in there. Um, it's got a two day after lens. That's a fun one. 200 hours. <laughs> <laughs> By lighting from the inside, you can show solid objects. A regular kaleidoscope has an object box that the light comes down through. If you put one of these in here, you can use this, but if you put something with solid objects in a regular object box, it's like holding a quarter up to the sun. You can see the black side of it. By lighting from the viewing side, you can show a solid object like quarters and watch it here. But uh, that's why the, that's why the end of this is painted black, and you actually see the gears. It takes two hours to take all the watches apart. It's a fire to get the little screws out and a mess of things up. Anyway. Get, get a hammer. Yeah. Not the fun. Yeah. No, you want it to look good. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.